So I was looking around and I found this channel, MTDAG, that actually makes stickman animations that are inspired by Alan Becker. So just keep in mind, this is not Alan Becker. This is somebody else that made this, I think using stick nodes. So you have like the original characters and this is like all of their episodes combined into one longer video. So I think the first episode might have bad quality, but the quality might get better as we go through this video. Uh, there's a creeper guys. Just wanted to point that, okay, all right, I think they're dead. Is that it? Is that the entire video? Are they just dead? There they are. Oh yeah, they're all, they all look like they've had just a long night of being exploded. Well, oh, half a heart. It's crazy to think that like Alan Becker basically created a brand new animation style with like these stick figure animations, especially the Minecraft ones. The Minecraft ones are like easily some of the most creative things I've ever seen. All right, so far we have three out of like the normal, what is it, like five or six stick figures. It's been a little bit since I've seen an Alan Becker video. All right, they're they're all healing up. Everybody's back to normal. Yeah, it's just so weird to think that like this isn't Alan Becker, but like it's like the same exact style. I don't know if there's any other like Alan Becker family animations that you guys have seen that are actually pretty good. Let me know and I'll react to them. Or if you know of any really bad ones, I feel like that would be kind of funny too to check out like really awful Alan Becker inspired uh, stick man animations. All right, the boys can mine the diamonds. There you go, boys. What are you guys gonna do with that? Make a diamond pickaxe? Oh, I see. All right. So like things are a little bit different, obviously, in this since it's not Alan Becker. So like that little crafting inventory was kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, a diamond sword. There you go. Also, their iron tools look just like a little bit weird. I don't know about you guys, but they, they kind of look more silvery to me. All right. So they got to get out of this cave. I'm curious, too, if like there's going to be the other stick figures, because obviously there's more than just three. All right. The boys made it back to the surface. It's possible. Maybe that was the first episode. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was probably the first one. All right, so this is probably episode number two of like their season one of the Alan Becker stick figure animations. The villagers already right off the bat look a lot different. <laughs> they, they look pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. All right, so this villager is trading the other villagers diamonds for emeralds. I don't even know that they cared about diamonds, right? What are they going to do with diamonds? Who's inside of that house? Yo, come out of there. He's looking kind of weird. You're also looking kind of weird. Oh, the boys. All right. All right. I guess and this is weird because like obviously Alan Becker stick figures, they've they found a village before, but I don't know like the lore behind these guys. There's so much lore in the Alan Becker video. So I don't know if like we should just kind of go off that. This obviously is not canon. This isn't a part of like that series at all. So I don't know like what we could, we can already work with or if this is just entirely different. <laughs> that was funny. He really wanted a cookie. What is that? Oh, oh, I think there's a pillager attack, right? That's oh my god. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is, dude. Oh my gosh. Yo, that was ruthless. Oh, they're gonna protect them. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Dude, the animation's actually like a lot better than I've expected. I've seen other Alan Becker like fan made animations and like they're not great. Obviously, I can't do much better, but dude, that's actually pretty darn good for a fan-made animation. That is sick. I feel like Alan Becker would be kind of proud. Oh, snap. Maybe this person took Alan Becker's class, because he actually has like a course where he teaches you how he makes some of his animations. Dude, they are destroying the pillagers and the Vindicators right now. That is awesome. Just back it up on out of there. Oh, is that is that a Ravager? Oh, it is a Ravager. Oh, you guys are dead. You might want to get out of there, boys. Oh my, okay, all right. <laughs> he just got rolled over. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, oh, they're doing damage. They're gonna have to do a lot more damage, dude. Oh, the green took a knee to the arrow. <laughs> An arrow to the knee. <laughs> oh. Oh, they just took over. They knocked off the rider. The Ravager's still going to be kind of angry. He might take that personally. Oh. Oh. Oh, no way. That was kind of sweet. Oh, whoa. All right, they did it. Go ahead, boys. Oh, I thought they were going to give each other like a high five. No, Green just has like, an arrow to the knee. 
And that villager's been inside of that house for a stupidly long time. Was there not an iron golem anywhere? Right? Like, every village normally has at least one iron golem. He got his cookie. That's a good villager right there. <laughs> All right. I think that's the end of that episode. And it just keeps going, too. That's the best part about this. That uh, The animations are pretty short per episode. All right. So the boys are still in the village. It's only the three of them, too, I guess. There's another raid? Huh? Oh my gosh, there are! And are they just surrendering? Yeah, they are! Oh my gosh! What? What? Did we just witness a kidnapping? Uh, they are in prison. Oh, wait, well, those two are together. <laughs> Red just blends in with the bed. So, if they're both in prison together, I think they could probably do something to get out. I, I think they probably could. And they were also giving a crafting bench. Uh, why would they give them a crafting bench? I don't understand. That doesn't really make much sense to me. Oh my god! What? Okay! Okay! Bro! Blue is a savage! That was the last thing I was expecting that would happen. I thought they were gonna have to, like, big brain it to get out of there. Like, use the crafting table to, to make a pickaxe and then mine their way out. No, not the case. They, dude, oh my gosh. The death animations in this are probably my favorite thing. Alright, the boys are locked and loaded. <laughs> they just ragdoll. Their whole body goes limp as soon as they get shot. Oh. Are they surrounded right now? I think they are. Yeah, 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 dude. They gotta fight off waves. It kind of looked like that. It looked like in like a video game where you get into like a giant room and then it locks you in the room until you complete the waves. Dude, what? What? How'd they do that? How the flip did they do that? I don't understand. Oh, watch behind you. Oh, not the back of the knee. Ouch. Dude, they're just pulling arrows out of their knees. Like it's nothing. Like it's not an actual thing, dude. It doesn't even hurt them. Dude, again? No, dude. Do they really have to deal with more? More? Every episode is them just fighting for their lives. Maybe not. Wait, who just shot that? Uh, the villagers have learned how to fight? And they have an iron golem? Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into it. Wish I had a snack, man. Oh, that iron golem's gonna squash the Ravager. Oh. That was bad. That was, that was bad. Oh. The sound design in this too, like all of the sound effects are, they're pretty darn good. I gotta give it to the creators. They did a fantastic job here. Oh, can we see that battle, please? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Dude, the Iron Golem animation is sick. <laughs> they just gave each other a head nod. That is the ultimate sign of respect. As soon as you get, like, an A-plus back on your test, just give your teacher the good old... 
They'll know what it means. Oh, is it house building time? Yeah. All right, boys. Yeah. They're going to survive their first night. I think this is the first night. Um, I guess the iron golem is standing guard. Oh, I don't want the iron golem to die. I don't know. I just have like a weird feeling about this. I have weird premonitions sometimes, and I feel like the iron golem, yeah, dude, they left him out overnight. I'm not really super worried about him because that, his arms are the size of tree trunks. What about the other side? Um, oh, never mind. Mr. Iron Golem's got it. Go ahead. No, he just stomped them. <laughs> they don't even know what happened. And they're off once again. Following the yellow brick road, which is just a bunch of grass blocks. Oh, that is a weird looking Enderman. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, my God. Goodness. Holy mac and cheese, bro. Gosh dang, this Enderman's on some steroids. Dude, stop falling for the same trick, please. You're all gonna die. Yo! Whoa! Watch out, man. The Enderman's on some stuff. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh gosh. That was, that was, that was intense. <laughs> he just kept smacking him with the iron axe. Oh, there's another one. What? Oh, oh, they got him now. As long as they all spread out. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. It was just like so slow. So it seems like the animator really uh -huh. likes these fight animations. And I kind of like it. I'm a big fan of fight animations uh -huh. myself. So I'm not complaining. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay, they're going up against Minecraft clones of themselves. Alright. Alright, I like this. I like it a lot. Oh, maybe not that. Oh, go oh, gosh, green. You came in. You came in and killed. <laughs> Careful now. Careful, green. Oh, Kareen, all right. So we're starting to learn a little bit about the different characters. It seems like Green is probably the best fighter out of the three. Oh, nice. Good, good decision with that upgrade. Oh, Blue! I forgot about Blue! Oh, I love the screen shaking too. It really just makes you feel like you're like there in the actual combat. Makes it seem like it's a lot deadlier than it probably is. Oh, oh yeah, I kind of forgot about the Iron Gold too. You got good versus evil. Good one pretty quickly there. <laughs> that witch is like, oh, this is awkward. That was such a gentle stabbing. All right, do the boys get a break? Can they just like stop fighting for two seconds? No, of course not. Of course not, because in this version of Alan Becker's animation world, everybody is hostile. Nobody is friends other than like the villagers. They're friendly with the villagers. Everybody else is an enemy. Can the iron golem even fit? What's that? Oh, of course. More of the Wither Skeleton Legion. <laughs> Some of the hits look like they're in slow motion, but they're just not. <laughs> I guess the iron golem can't come through. 
What are they doing? Oh my gosh, more are coming. This is just an- Oh, he came through. I stand corrected, man. Are they just backing up? Oh. <laughs> I don't understand why the Wither Skeletons are still charging when they, they just watched one of their friends get blasted into a bajillion different pieces. <laughs> His head came off. Oh my gosh. I love watching things explode. Uh, I probably should talk to my therapist about it. Uh, I was gonna say, is it like not going to transition? I feel like we just waited for a little bit. Ah, yes. The Blaze Army. Thought we forgot about you guys. I think your wood is going to burn down. That is just one humble man's opinion. Also, the blazes, like the things that they shoot, they don't even kind of look like fireballs. They look like, like blue, or not blue, red and white marbles. Oh, they got a gas to blow it up. I, I really do, oh, that was weird. That was weird when its eyes open. I really do like how the, the Minecraft characters look in this like stick universe. You know, the, the blazes and the gas, like they're very simple in terms of texture. Like there's not really much going on. But it looks really cool, since, like, you know exactly what it is. Oh! <laughs> they shot his friend! <laughs> They're looking at each other like, dude, what? What was that for? Oh, yeah, dude! Oh, that was awesome! The gas is dead. Oh. Yikes. That's all they needed in the nether. So they're back in the overworld. Whoa, wait. I thought the, the color changed for a sec. I thought they were going to add somebody new to their stickman army. I like how the Iron Golem's a part of the squad, too. Like, it just adds another element to it a little bit. Kind of like the second coming in Alan Becker's animations. Like, it's just a different character to have other than just, like, the, the normal stick figure characters. Oh, not this again! What kind of Minecraft are they playing, dude? Everything is just hostile. Oh my gosh, they got kidnapped! They've been brought to the end dimension. Oh my gosh, dude. It's like a Super Smash Bros. Final Destination level. There's nowhere to go other than off the map. One down. Oh, how did... Wait. Oh. There's just a, pot, a pile of Endermen on the ground. Oh, <laughs> he did not stop swinging. Holy smokes. Oh, it's the Iron Golem. He's my favorite to watch. Yeah, that was that was pretty effective. Is, was, was that it? Was that just like a secret level that they unlocked? Oh, green doesn't look good yet. Get, get yourself up, green. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they, they're going to the end dimension, even though they got teleported to the end dimension, but like, I guess they, they want to find the ender dragon and they would like to beat the game. <laughs> the sound effects are really good. All right, go ahead and toss them. Tippity toss them up. Oh, not there, but you're going the right way. Some of the textures, I will say, are a little bit off. Like, you can kind of see that um, they're not the best. You can see like, there's just a bunch of, like, dirt kind of just piled on top of one another. Just kind of, like, photoshopped in there. This scene looks good, though. Like, the, the scenes that are kind of already set up, I feel like are, are good. But th that last one felt a little bit rushed. Also, it seems like the animation got, like, a lot 
better in terms of quality. I, I forget like when that happened, but yeah, it looks way better than it did at the start. Oh, they found it. Nice. <laughs> it's the little things like that that are just like funny little bits that you, you just kind of take for granted in Alan Becker's animations. It's time, boys. Time for the Ender Dragon. Pooh, he did a cannonball. I like that sound effect. <laughs> All right, boys. This is it, the moment of truth. Oh, the Ender Dragon looks so good. Oh, yeah, dude, that's like my favorite thing yet. The texture and the animation, it's sweet. <laughs> he picked him up. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Oh. Oh my gosh, they're going right in for it. Do the boys know they have to kill the end crystals? Because if they don't, they're gonna... Okay, maybe that's what they're pointing at right now. Yes, they are. Okay, okay. At least they figured that, that much out. That is one way to get up there. Now, careful, it explodes when you hit it. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> it was just such good timing. Is he dead yet? Do they? I, I know that they have health. We've seen that in the first part of this video, but like, it doesn't seem like health matters anymore. Oh, smart. There you go. Good thinking. All right, one more. Oh, <laughs> I was literally thinking, what is the Ender Dragon doing during this? Because normally the Ender Dragon is like actively shooting fireballs and attacking anybody that's trying to destroy the End Crystals. Um, um, <laughs> just eating him up there. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, th there it goes. Oh, 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 okay. Um, oh, oh my gosh, he's breaking the iron golem. Oh, he bit off his head. Is he dead? No, dude, there's no way. They killed the Ender Dragon. What happened to the Iron Golem? That's the only thing I'm worried about. Also, what is Blue's stance right now? Is he alive? Maybe alive? That is a cool looking Ender Dragon egg. You guys, you guys should probably grab that. But they're, they're leaving? No. No, dude, that's that can't be how it ends. That's so sad. 